For the final stop of this whirlwind season of In the Spirit, I went back to Red Hook to taste the artisanal spirits of Van Brunt Stillhouse. There, proprietor Derek Schlesselman distills award-winning rum, grappa, moonshine, and a variety of whiskeys. On the day I stopped by, Derek was stirring up a new mash for a malted whiskey. When I was sort of getting set up to open the distillery, I took a week and went and worked at uh, Kilhoman Distillery in Isla. Worked with the mash man and the distillery. It was a really fun week. We learned a lot about how Scotch whiskey's made. My previous career was in television. Uh, previous and current. And current. I'm still, I still have a day <laughs> job um, working at The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. While I love the creativity of, of telling stories on television, uh, one of the things that I find frustrating about television is that it's so ephemeral. Once you tell a story, it's, it's sort of gone. I've always, in my spare time and my, my hobbies, have always been cooking and brewing beer and growing things in the garden. Whiskey's is really my love as a consumer. So does your family think you're crazy? Uh, no, I, I think by and large my, my family is really excited about what I'm doing and they, they've, well, actually they think I'm crazy, but they thought I was crazy a long time ago. <laughs> When I'm working in television, uh, you spend a lot of time in your head. You mm -hmm. send, spend a lot of time sitting in a chair discussing ideas. Mm -hmm. And while that feeds a certain part of me that is satisfying to a degree, uh, I really like getting my hands dirty and crafting spirits. So is there any corn in this whiskey? This is 100% malted barley. The regulation for American malted whiskey is just 51%, but I'm much more of a fan of the, the sort of purest strain of uh, a single malt scotch style whiskey. So this is, uh, my, my malt whiskey is not a scotch style exactly, and then I'm using new barrels. The, the grain bill is the same as a scotch whiskey, but because it's aged in a new barrel, it has uh, some of the new barrel characteristics of a bourbon but the malt bill of a, of a scotch. scotch. I'm aging it in new barrels for two reasons. One, to give it a little bit of an American twist, uh, but two, as a new distillery, I'm by definition having to sell new youngish whiskey. The, the new barrel ages it in a little bit more robust way. So what we're doing today is a, is a malted whiskey, 100% malted barley. You know, when, when you make alcohol, you're, it's yeast that's making the alcohol. Yeast consumes sugar, grain is starch. So to, to convert those starches to sugars, we use nature's method, which is enzymes. So what a maltster does is um, soaks the barley in water, uh, lets it start to grow a little bit, that activates the enzymes, and then they dry the grain, and that arrests the enzyme activity. Uh, I get the malt. And what we do is we mix that malt with uh, hot water, mm -hmm. with, uh, and we get it to be about 150 degrees or so. Uh, at 150 degrees, the enzymes are either in the malt, activate again, and uh, we let that sort of barley soup sit for mm -hmm. about an hour and steep. And then after an hour or so, all the starches have converted to sugars. And then we pump that wash mm -hmm. into our fermenters and cool it down to a temperature where the yeasts are happy and we add yeast and start a fermentation. No matter how many times I do a fermentation, I find it magical. You know, the, the Germans used to call yeast God stuff. They didn't, before microbiology, they didn't understand what yeast was. Mm -hmm. But they did know that this creamy stuff in the bottom of their beer tank, when added to the next batch, made the next batch better. And they called that creamy stuff God stuff. A fermenter in full fermentation looks like a boiling vat of, of soup, and yet it is not boiling at all. It is just a billion microscopic, single-celled animals doing their thing. For more news, recipes, and stories about New York distillers and brewers, be sure to check back at the Village Voice Fork in the Road blog for more In the Spirit posts. No.